I've got this lovely Pyrus communis, a conference pear tree, that I'd like to plant alongside some of the older fruit trees in the orchard. Now the first thing I'm going to do before preparing the pit is to soak it in some of the Radigro solution. In order to find out how much Radigro solution you need, you first need to measure the circumference of the tree at chest height. This tree is five centimetres, so therefore I need five litres of Radigro. And now I can add in the mycorrhizal spores. In this packet, there's enough spores to add to 10 litres of Radigro solution. So I only need to use half. I'm now going to gently ease the tree out of its container. And as you can see, the roots have spiralled around the outside of the container, forming this mass of roots. And if we were to plant it as it is, it may remain in this pot-bound shape for a while. So we want to gently tease out the roots in order for, when we plant it, the roots to be able to grow out into the soil and form a good solid foundation. You do have to be careful when you're doing this because the roots and the root hairs are very fragile. So we're gonna do it very, very gently. And we're gonna leave this for approximately 20 minutes or enough time to allow all of the beneficial organisms within the radigro and the mycorrhizal mix to diffuse through the soil and get really into that root ball. Whilst waiting for our tree to soak in the radigro solution, you can be busy preparing the pit. Once you've marked the edge of the pit, you can then begin to just dig round the edges of it and get the turf sods up. I prefer to use a tarpaulin because it keeps the area clean and you can put your turf sods on it. You're looking for the hole to be just under the height of the root ball so that the root ball sits proud by about five to 10 centimetres. Over time, it will gradually sink down. And what you don't want to happen is for a little pool of water to collect. Just rough up the sides so that the roots can grow into the surrounding soil and so that water, most importantly, can get in and out of the pit. Now, using a stake like this, just pop it on the edges of the hole and you can see that there's a little gap either side of the pole. It looks pretty good to me. Before you pop your tree into the pit, just sprinkle a little bit of good quality compost into the bottom of the pit. There we go. And now I can add it to our pit. Make sure our tree is nice and straight. When backfilling the pit, you want to be really careful that you avoid any compaction. We don't want to go squashing the air out of the soil. This may create anaerobic conditions, killing off a lot of the beneficial microorganisms that we've been working so hard to bring back. 
Another key point that many people underestimate when planting a tree is the value of using a good mulch. Now I prefer to use partially rotted wood chips because of their ongoing nutritional support for the tree. They also help against compaction because particularly in temperate areas where there's a lot of rain, the continued patting of the rain on the surface can cause compaction and then anaerobic conditions. Lastly, we need to water our tree. If you have any of the radigrow solution, you can use this. And try to avoid watering little and often. You really don't want to water it unless absolutely necessary. Now you can sit back and relax, safe in the knowledge that you have a team of tiny gardeners looking after your tree.